jina langu ni David Mwangi Kibe. Uh, mimi ni pia mimi ni major staff nilikuwa kwa jeshi nimehudumu kwa ya, idara ya jeshi na nimekuwa niki ni, ni founder member wa kikwe, wa Maroon Commandos Band ambayo tulianzisha mwaka wa eh, 1970 October 1970 huko Gilgil Barracks eh, 7 Battalion kwa sasa niko Marekani eh, Dallas eh, eh, Texas ambapo hapo ndio na naishi na kufanya kazi na pia kuendeleza mambo ya muziki ambao na, napenda ni kama kariya yangu uh, I come from Kenya uh, particularly maybe I can say that I come from the central province uh, in our place known as uh, Madioya Madio is a division and uh, the village is Nyakyanga that is where I hail from Maroon Commandos band uh, is a renowned uh, army group a uh, music group uh, which uh, I was a founder member uh, together with my colleagues I can name them uh, the first one uh, is the late Habel Kifoto and there was Juma Kizito who is also late and then there is uh, Ibrahim Ringo um, then Shem Shisia who is uh, also uh, late Peter Machetti who died earlier on and then there, there was Joel uh, Mushiri uh, Jared Otieno John Kimani uh, and Peter uh, uh, sorry I mentioned Peter uh, there was uh, Tony Tony Sobayen and uh, those were the founder members uh, first of all uh, I can say that we were a group uh, when we were civilians very young and we used to play uh, at Bamboo nightclub uh, somewhere in River Road and then uh, during that time there were the times of boogie and uh, where teenagers used to flock in places of entertainment so uh, a kano by the name of uh, Kano Mushemi then a captain came and said that uh, we were playing good music and he would he, he requested if we some of us could join the army well <clears throat> we were moved by uh, by that and since we were still young uh, it uh, it was an opportunity that presented it at the right uh, itself at the right time uh, now we we were sort of uh, moved uh, from we moved from Nairobi and uh, went to Gilgil where Seven Care had just been uh, established as a new unit there was the, uh, the commanding officer of the Seven Care his name was uh, Wambua Kano Wambua who was instrumental to uh, you know enlisting us and uh, really formation of the band it is actually his brainchild that uh, the band came to be and uh, <clears throat> the group uh, took the name uh, maroon which is the color of the battalion and commandos uh, is like we all know the commandos who are people who can can do tasks that uh, uh, you know uh, na- naturally are not very easy so we took upon ourselves uh, upon ourselves to uh, practice good music we had uh, because the army provided uh, instruments the army provided livelihood in that there was the pay there was the food and all that and the time for practice now uh, it was just upon ourselves and because we were very young to uh, catch up with the mood of what was needed required of us because all these uh, things have been Uh, sort of uh, given to us or availed and we were musicians 
and uh, we were yearning to to move ahead and compete and uh, and enter into the world of music at that particular time now uh, we had uh, rivals or uh, the people we looked upon to like uh, tabule like uh, franco and in kenya they are they were also also renowned musicians but uh, particularly on the ethnic uh, line like kamaru dio misiani uh, the shirati band who are who used to be very good now we sort of uh, entered the music scene uh, in a different way because we could play a cover version of uh, english music or blue uh, soul rock uh, and uh, all the latin uh, specials and we also uh, could play uh, the zairian uh, music so we took upon ourselves now to better ourselves by pay, uh, playing com- complicated uh, difficult music which we played up to standard and people now our fans recognized that we could play that music uh, up to the required standard but uh, we knew we had not reached the mark because we knew ultimately we had to play something original and get it into the same standard so that the fans could now uh, identify uh, the, the group with the music and in the process ident- identify themselves with our group uh, as a Kenyan group or an East African group that was done but then it wasn't uh, in quick succession it was a difficult journey we had to uh, sort of uh, crack and crack until finally we, we, we made it my role in the band uh, let me just say first of all I was a, a, a lead singer a lead uh, uh, rhythm and blues and soul singer later on i could i taught i i learned how to play the guitar i could play the guitar and sing and uh, later on again i i learned how to play the saxophone and i could play the saxophone uh, which is uh, now my current uh, occupation because i play that even as of today now we could not have uh, achieved that if we didn't have the backup the backing of the army and our respective families first of all let me say that i i am a married person i have got uh, four grown up kids uh, unfortunately my wife passed on earlier on but uh, that is the way of the world and uh, the, even their children now have got uh, children therefore i'm a, i'm a grandfather and uh, the family uh, plays a major role in the life of a musician or in the life of anybody if you don't have a stable family then you won't have a stable a, a, a farm future so uh, i can say that my family played a very uh, prominent role towards me becoming who i am today uh, i joined the army as a an ordinary soldier i went through the ranks Uh, up to a senior sergeant and uh, then I was commissioned uh, in 1990 and served for a total of uh, uh, seven, 16 years as a commissioned officer but when you add up to my other years uh, as an other rank or a non commissioned officer I make, make up a total of 36 years in service and i i thank god for the health and uh, you know the ability that made me pass all through that yes. i have uh, two grandsons and four uh, granddaughters yeah we usually i usually enjoyed and uh, playing uh, in uh, <clears throat> functions state functions especially uh, in at state house in nairobi na Mombasa even uh, in Eldred uh, when when we used to go there to entertain uh, the head of state plus the state uh, uh, visitors uh, we also had an opportunity 
to go to Namibia uh, to play during the uh, anniversary of uh, during independence and uh, I also happened to have uh, uh, gone to Sierra Leone on a peace mission we organized a small group there with the people who are there and we entertained uh, the people uh, I mean servicemen and officers even from other countries who are there so I uh, traveled here and there and uh, you know uh, Maroon Commandos built itself especially uh, by going to play in colleges and in uh, places of higher learning uh, like Kenyatta College uh, Nairobi University Maseno uh, University and uh, through there we built a clientele that people who had been in, uh, in those colleges so that when they came out they still were ardent fans of uh, of the group and because they went to position of uh, authority or you know in good jobs they all, always remembered us they were still our fans even when they went out and that that contributed immensely to the success of the group in that it wasn't just playing for one type uh, of uh, one, one one type of clientele of people so it, it the success grew on and on and on again in the recording field after we did uh, we recorded uh, charonyi niwasi which was uh, a national wide hit and vivu mbaya uh, the people now understood that we have we had come of age that we could now uh, play music that was up to the standard just like any other uh, known uh, top groups in east and central africa it really pro- uh, propelled us uh, the, the, those songs really uh, and also usniambie uh, unaenda which i composed uh, those are the, the two uh, were composed by kifoto uh, vivu mbaya and then charonyi niwasi but then other other musician also in the group composed very many other songs which are in the market and uh, it was a teamwork when we were composing you didn't compose that uh, this is by David Kibe this is by Kifoto or Kizito or Ibrahim Ringo no it was a teamwork where everybody contributed and the uh, the spirit in all that was tremendous it built us and uh, you know you did that in good faith and that is why even the members of uh, armed forces our unit first of all owned on the group accepted that really it was their group then by extension all members of the armed forces the defense forces uh, came to recognize uh, maroon as their own not uh, uh, somebody else uh, else's band and also i could add here that uh, the army discipline and uh, that, that uh, it, you know that was implanted into us played also a big role towards that because when you are disciplined there's nothing you can't touch in fact it is not that when we started we were very good musicians no we we, we slowly progressed being better and better but what was always there was a uh, discipline yani nidhamu bila nidhamu eh, hakuna kitu kingeli, ambacho kingeliendelea utapata kwamba kulikuwa na musician wa hapo mbeleni ambao walikuwa ni wazuri sana kwa vyombo kwa kuimba lakini eh, ile kitu ilikuwa haipo ni nidhamu na unapata kwamba bila hiyo huwezi endelea because utaitwa and, and then muende mkacheze mziki baadaye mnaanza kuharibu kazi kwa ulevi mara kuongea vibaya mbele ya watu hiyo heshima tulidumisha tuli na tena niko uh, sure that even the current musicians are still upholding that because they are still there they are they still playing the and the maroon is still going on strong i wrote usinembe like i said i was we were very young that time and you know this uh, about a young person there is uh, about ladies and you know we meet them it was partly a true story and partly something which was imaginative so uh, this song is that uh, you know you you are in love with a, with a lady each time you meet uh, the 
and they tell you that no 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 I'm in a hurry I'll do, we shall talk tomorrow so I was telling her you know she was really uh, hurting me because uh, each time niki uh, niki niki tukipatana unasema kwamba una haraka kwa nini unitese bila sababu so it was a love song <laughs> imaginary at part and partly true ah uh, kabisa kuna methali nyingi za Kiafrika ambazo zinasema kwamba bila kucha kucha, kucha moja haiwezi kuwa eh, chawa lazima kuwe na kucha mbili ndio umfinye yule chawa na apate ku, ku, upate kumuondoa eh, hiyo inamaanisha nini kwamba ukiwa peke yako hata kama wewe ni hodari namna gani hata kama wewe ni mzuri namna gani huwezi kufanya kazi ikaonekana bila eh, kusaidiwa na watu wengine na we pia ndio usaidiwe lazima pia we usaidiane hiyo hicho ni cha kwanza cha pili ni kwamba usiangalie sana mambo ya pesa angalia mambo ya jina Kuo, na vile watu wanakuchukua wewe kama mtu na tena hii kazi ya musician ambayo watu hawakuwa waki eh, wakidhamini ama kuirespect E, ni kazi nzuri manake ni kazi kama kazi zile zingine manake hata kutapata kwamba nilipokuwa katika Kenya Kenya Army Band kama admin officer nilikuwa nawaeleza kwamba hii mambo ya band ya mass, ma, marching band ni, jam, ni ni profession it's just like being a teacher just like being a doctor in that you can't pick an ordinary soldier and tell him go and play music he has to learn it he has to specialize in a particular instrument and he has to they have all to come together to form the music itself so you find that it is a specialist duty it's not just like that and i i, I want to impress that you know the moment that people realize that it, it is something which can uplift even the name of the country they'll treat musicians in uh, differently because ni kazi ni kazi kama ile daktari because ukisikia kwamba kuna daktari huyu anaitwa daktari Kibe ama daktari daktari Onyango ama daktari eh, Mackenzie una kuna vile watu wana, wanachukulia unajua lakini ukisikia kwamba huyu ni musician eh, kuna tendency ya ku downplay yani kwamba ni kama mkora hakuna ukora iko hapo no 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 so eh, najua kwamba imekuwa transformed sio vile vile ilivyokuwa wakati huo because sasa unapata kuna musician wengi hata mtu kama ule anaitwa nameless ambaye yuko na eh, university degree and he's a musician so nafikiria, nafikiria uh, kwa leo imebadilika kidogo eh, kuliko vile ilipokuwa hapo lakini bado kuna ile kufikiria kwamba musician music sio kazi ya maana Maruko Manas bado iko based Nairobi iko Langata Barracks Uh, na ni bandi eh, mbao bado inavuma eh, huko Nairobi na katika nchi hata uh, wameenda eh, nchi eh, mbali mbali Tanzania nafikiri wamecheza kidogo na ni bandi ambayo inajulikana bado ipo bado ipo kabisa ni kitu ambacho kilitengenezwa na kikawekwa kikawekwa msingi eh, kama vile nilivyokueleza kulikuwa na commanding officer alikuwa anaitwa Wambua eh, Kano Wambua ambaye alihakikisha kwamba kuna structures zile zilikuwa zimetengenezwa na bado zipo kwamba hiyo itakuwa maintain kama eh, pride ya unit na pride of the army pride, pride of the armed forces and ultimately pride of Kenya because mwisho ni kwa kabisa ni kwamba eh, wao ni wananchi na wanachezea pia wananchi wa Kenya well kuna daughters wangu wawili mmoja anaitwa Susan na mwingine anaitwa Eva e, kidogo hao naona wanapenda mziki na tulifanya kidogo wakafanya backup kwa kwa album yangu ya ambayo nilikuwa nimeitoa mwaka wa e, 2020 20, 2012 e, ya gospel walisaidia ku, 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 kwa kuimba pia e, Susan anakuwa katika e, member wa Times Square choir pale eh, New York eh, so 
ni kwa ya kubwa na ambapo yeye yuko ndani kwa hivyo ningesema kwamba huyo ana anapenda mziki lakini hachukuli kama karia e, yuko na karia yake unajua once a musician utakuwa always a musician a, wakati huu mimi najishughulisha na mambo ya e, kucheza mziki katika e, present e, worship team katika church yangu ambayo iko Dallas inaitwa All, All Nations Church uh, Highland Park na pia nafanya mambo ya recording nimejaribu kufanya recording za uh, other secular you can record secular it doesn't really matter na pia na record uh, mambo ya the gospel then uh, katika uchezaji wangu wa uh, chombo changu saxophone na pia guitar na unapata time nyingine na tumbuiza watu katika occasion za wedding naitwa you fill up as a fill up musician unaenda una, una, una wachezea watu katika ceremony zao na pia pale ambapo ninafanya kazi ambayo e, sasa ninafanya kazi kwa facility moja inaitwa e, Vitality Court e, Dallas Texas ambapo ni, ni facility ambayo inaangalia e, health ya watu ambao residents ambao ni wazee e, ambao wengine wanapoteza fahamu kidogo kidogo na wengine hawajisikii vizuri na niko katika wellness e, e, section ambapo unapata kwamba siku fulani fulani huwa nachukua gita yangu na saxophone na wachezea na wanafurahi kwe, katika kuwatumbuiza na unapata kwamba nyimbo ninazo zicheza ni zile nyimbo zao ambazo pia nilizifahamu wakati ambapo nilikuwa tunacheza katika bandi ya Maroon manake tulikuwa all round tulikuwa all round na sasa e, pia unapata kwamba na pia nafanya kazi katika store za, za kitchen na e, huko catering you know e, so ni, 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 hiyo ndio ile kazi ambazo nafanya kwa sasa na utunzi pia niweka mbele na nashukuru kwamba nimepata engineer sound engineer rafiki yangu sana ambaye eh, ni pastor Sami eh, na pia ametoka ame, ame Tanzania sasa unapata kwamba tukiwa pamoja na yeye tunakuwa tuki, tukitengeneza mziki ambao eh, ni wa hali ya juu na jaribu kurudia nyimbo ambazo pengine mimi kwa, 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 kwa maono yangu hazikutoka vizuri na zirudia ili pia nione kama zinaweza kurudisha eh, jina juu nimeweka mziki katika masoko mengi eh, hapa ulimwenguni iko online iko online YouTube iko kwa YouTube na pia Amazon na fasili na sehemu sehemu kama hizo unaweza kukuzi unaweza kuzikupata hizo hiyo mziki wanamziki ningewashauri kwamba usiwe pingamizi kwa wenzako ukimuona mtu ambaye e, ana talent ama bado yuko chini anajaribu kujivuta usimkanyagie chini jaribu kumleta juu kwa maana hata wewe pia ulisaidiwa na usiposaidia mtu hautasaidika wewe mwenyewe na mkiwa pamoja it is said there is no, no end in learning you learn every day you learn even from a little kid who might be having an idea that you did not have therefore you keep on exploring and when you uh, you do that by being a bit gentle on people who are upcoming nilipata challenges ama changamoto nyingi sana niki 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 nikiwa niki grow kwa music lakini mimi nilihakikisha kwamba na nashukuru Mungu kwa maana mimi nili jaribu sana ku, kusaidia yoyote ambaye tulikutana na yeye katika hiyo e, e, mambo ya mziki sikutaka pia apate zile shida ambazo mimi mwenyewe nilipata wanamziki e, nawaambia kwamba mko kwa a very noble profession make it more noble by being gentle on other people on on on, your, on, on, on other people who you think are not as talented as you are because utapata kwamba mtu ambaye ni gentle ama humble anaendelea sana manake atapata eh, maoni ambayo ataichukua positively 
na na pia e, kuweka pesa mbele ni ni, 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 ni makosa ni makosa jina tengeneza jina kwanza jina mzuri itakujenga pesa zitakuja tu pesa zitakuja na ile kitu iko ambao ni yako hakuna mtu ambaye anaweza kuchukua it, it, if it is yours it is yours and I'm a, i am a testimony to that i did not rush i took my time i also prayed god and he granted so uh, ningewa patia na tena wawe na objective why do you want to play music why do you want, in, in the final analysis what do you want to become who do you want to be remembered as when you finally exit from the music scene or even exit from the world that is what we should be thinking about ni vizuri sana pia hata ku encourage watoto wadogo ukiwaona kwamba eh, wanapenda music una, 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 unaendelea kuwa encourage na pia kuna ile kwamba uki, ukienda hapa Marekani kwa kila nyumba kuna chombo cha mziki kwa kila nyumba ambayo nimetembea kuna piano kuna keyboard kuna guitar kuna flute ambapo sasa utapata mtoto katika time yake anaweza kuwa anapitia pitia anaguza kidogo ana, anakuwa na interest na generally wanadhamini artists wa kila namna wanadhamini they treasure that because eh, wanajua ni mtu ambaye ni wa maana okay. ningependa kushukuru kabisa wakuu wa jeshi eh, lote ambao wako sasa na ambao walioko waliokuwapo ambapo siku zile nilikuwa kule na pia ni washukuru pia hata wenzangu maofisa wenzangu retired officers and current officers and also uh, men and women of the service uh, ni kwamba bila wao hakungekuwa kwamba kuna marun ungekuwa na marun wao ndi walitulea na tukaja kuwa who we became Ningependa pia this time eh, kurudisha shukurani kwa media people watu wa the nation standard and tv uh, na tv stations KTN Citizen na KBC which was there all, 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 all that time ilikuwa station moja na ilifanya juu chini na ikatudhamini sisi na ika na ika, 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 ika kwamba ina back their own eh, na ilipojua kwamba kuna serious band here what will identify with it na bila wao pia hatungeliendelea na, na na pia na, na ningependa kushukuru eh, wananchi wote wa Kenya na eh, na pia katika na, na pia eh, jirani zetu jirani wetu wa Tanzania Uganda eh, Zambia Zimbabwe wote Afrika kwa jumla manake E, mimi napata kwamba nikisema e, mambo ya music mdu, watu wanaelewa na wanajua hata kama sio nyimbo yetu kuna nyimbo nyingi zinajulikana zimetoka Kenya kama ule ule wimbo wa lunchtime music wa Gabriel Omolo ambaye ni, ni, nilikuwa surprise kuipata Sierra Leone inajulikana it, it was a hit record so ningependa ku, 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 ku shukuru watu wote wetu wa Kenya na Afrika na watu wa Afrika wa Jumbe